Hello everybody, it's uh, Mac here again, or Recon Networks on YouTube. Uh, and as per the request of the users on ReconNetworks.com, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial just to go through a few things that I haven't covered yet that are also going to be included in the larger tutorial that I was talking about. Uh, so there was a few things that people asked about. And uh, first thing was text colors. And I know I've been through that kind of before, uh, but not quite to the degree of uh, what people wanted. They wanted to be able to change it uh, randomly throughout the, throughout the program. So I guess I'll do that for you guys. And then I'm going to be going through functions, uh, just briefly to explain them. And one of the functions is actually going to include a Alt-Enter simulation in the keyboard so that it goes to full screen automatically. Uh, so that'll be pretty cool. And uh, what else did I want to cover? Oh, and I was also going to cover a quick pointers. Just go through pointers really quickly. Put it in the easiest example that I can because they are going to be used in the next tutorial. And I, I believe I haven't even mentioned them yet. So uh, basically what a pointer is, is it it is a variable that contains an address. And the... the uh, a compiler can actually pull the address of that variable to pass it from one function to another. So let's say you had two variables to return to the main function, uh, but the oops, but the uh, compiler can only pass or return one variable from a function. Uh, so if you wanted to pass those two, you'd have to pass by pointer or pass by address, as it's called. So we'll go through that really quick too. Uh, just going to do a few quick things here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to write up our function uh, for alt enter. Okay, and uh, so as you can see, this looks just like the main section, the main code section, it's just a little bit different. Uh, it doesn't return a data type event, it returns void, so it returns nothing. Uh, so what we're going to be executing in the code body, and this is going to be, you guys aren't going to understand the w a word of this right here. Uh, and to be completely honest, I don't really understand much of it either. <laughs> All that you need to know is uh, it simulates alt enter. It actually triggers those keys uh, virtually. Uh, I'm trying to remember what to do here. Uh, and then VK return. And then it's 0x1c, I think. 0x1c, 0, 0. Sorry, just talking out loud here. Thinking out loud. And then one more VK return. Uh, Similar, 0x1c, key event f, key, key up, oh, geez, key up, and 0, and keyboard event vk menu, 0x38, key event f, key up. Zero. So basically, all this function does is it uh, it simulates all to enter. So now we're going to want to call that in the main function. Otherwise, it's going to do nothing because it's void. So we're going to need above the main code section. You actually need to declare it. So you'd have to go void alt enter just like that and you have to have the semicolon after it and then you'd be calling void alt enter again in the main code section. Okay, so that is that should make it uh, full screen. Uh, wire, Wirex is saying hello. Uh, okay, so um, the next thing that I wanted to do is I'm just going to do the quick the quick pointer thing. Uh, we'll do void pointer func and then we'll do 
int star, and star means the address of, uh, or actually it means pointer. Uh, pi pointer 1, and then int star pi pointer 2. And all this does is it declares those variables. Okay, so let's say uh, uh, int i1, int i2, and then uh, we'll just do int, uh, let's just declare one pointer here. And then we'll do uh, star pi pointer 1 equals int i1 times, oops, whoa, what am I doing here? i1 times i2. Okay, and then we'll just do a quick user input. Uh, just like that, and then C in I1 and I2. Okay, and then star PI pointer equal, or equals those two times each other or whatever. So then we're going to be going back to this. So now this is good. So all we need to do, just like we did before, is declare it at the top. And then you're going to be recalling it inside. Actually, you know what? You don't put the void there, though. You take the void out. Okay, and then you'll be doing same idea, except it's a little bit different. Okay, so for this, you need to actually pull the address of that. So that you're, because what this is, is basically a little program of its own, right? 